Hello guys and welcome to my new let's play of Castle Crashers. This is Fancy Squirtle. And uh to my right here I have my little brother Christian. Say hi Christian. Hi. And uh let's get started here. Uh I took the liberty of unlocking certain characters for me and Christian. And uh Christian will be doing this whole playthrough with me all the way through. So Christian you can choose which character you want. Use the, uh, yeah, use the right here. And I'll show I guess we'll start off with level ones. Yeah, we're gonna start off with level ones here. Christian's using the barbarian. I'm using. I am using the code head. And uh, let me just fix the recording here. Let's go. Where's that? Hi, I mean Christian. We're dancing about. <laughs> this guy done got fucked up. Right, what sword do you have? I'm. Um, I am the barbarian. Yeah. I don't know why I have the sword, but. Let's go. Talk to these people. Those people talk about magic. Stop. These people, this guy talks about swords, and this person talks about items. I have one potion. No, I don't have anything except for shoveling. Alright, so, uh. He's just taking that crystal. Yeah, he took that crystal. Okay, King, you don't have to yell at me. Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna be, tr I think I already have a bunch of weapons, so, but yeah, I'm gonna try to unlock a bunch of weapons. I think I have a most of them because I did a practice run. Hello, people of mine. Because <laughs> I, I did a practice run with the blacksmith knight, which is part of that pack. You need to change your weapon, because I cannot tell which one you use. Yeah, but, um, magic here, you hold the RT, and then you press either Y or B. Chris, control them, your magic. Uh, everyone's magic is different, as you can see. Oh, we have a cutscene here. There's a big brute barbarian taking those guys. Which I do not like. Continue on, and uh, once we can actually get to the map, we'll change. We'll go to the blacksmith area, change our weapons. Uh, oh, and this is a—it's <laughs> the same weapon. Uh, yes, there are certain enemies in the game that drop weapons. As you can see, the barbarian. This is only good because it's critical hits. But yeah, that's really it. Uh, but yes, there are certain enemies that you might have a chance for them to drop weapons and give you points. They mostly give you coins and food, but there is a slight chance that they'll drop weapons. And there's an animal orb in this game that that uh, makes the chances increase of getting dropped weapons like food and magic and all that stuff. That's the monkey. Okay, ready? And doesn't like the bear increase your strength? The bear, there's certain. The lady at the Noah's Ark to take looking place. She'll tell you what's going down. I don't, I have no clue which one's it. Now this guy's like, okay, hey, what's up? We can get some weapons. As you can see, in certain, in certain shops, you can buy potions, and you can buy other weapons. Later in the game, you'll be able to buy other stuff, like, like, animals, and whatnot. And now here we are on this screen, and we're gonna go check out the blacksmith. Oh, and here is the compass, which will come in handy later. We're gonna head into here. And yeah, I I did unlock most of the weapons. And uh, you guys can just say in the comments if you don't want me using DLC weapons. Because Christian, follow me. Because you see, this is kind of cheap. Most of the DLC weapons are pretty cheap, like the Necromancer Sword and the Lollipop. I mean, this is five agility right off the bat. This is like the weapon that I'm going to use. We're allowed to use the DLC. It's totally up to you guys. And. Uh, yeah, that's really it. So, 
you can choose any weapon. Wait, let me check my stats out. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. For now, here, this is like the sit oh, never mind. But for now, we're just gonna keep the weapons that we have. Oh, and, um, this run that I'm doing, I'm not trying to, like, say it like that, but I'm going to be doing defense and strength. I'm not going to be doing magic and agility as much. I'm going to try to get defense and strength up first, and then... Oh. Um, so, uh, for this episode, we're just going to beat the first boss, and then we'll head off until next time, which will probably be tomorrow, but you guys will see it the next day. Alright, then, Barbarian War. Here we are. A good combo is pressing jump Y and then X Y X Y X X X. Kind of like that. You got it, Chris. Jump. Like, jump Y and then X. Where am I? Okay. Or you could do X Y jump 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 yeah, again. So. Or you can just do A jump. A -Y. A -Y -Y. As you can see, it kills them. As you can see, we have some sort of destroyed mechanism here. See, my magic is like horrible. It doesn't do any damage. Mine. Well, yours gets better. Mine's just really arrows. It's just horrible. And here we have the introduction of a new enemy, which are thieves, which uh, tend to shoot arrows and have the rusty sword. And they can drop that rusty sword. Oh, and, and here really they are pretty annoying. Here I got a new combo, which is AA. It only does one damage, like it does that throughout the game. That never changes, but I leveled up. And when we get back to the map screen, uh, I will show you what leveling up does. You do something. Uh, leveling up is actually giving you swords and stuff like that. Orbs. No. Leveling up, you can upgrade your stats. That's what it does for sure. Is that ram still alive? Leave him. The ram in the background. Which ram? It was destroyed. No, that was something else, I guess. Oh, and uh, certain foods heal you. Of course, the chicken leg, as you saw, it heals a lot of damage. It's the best healing item in the game. And right here, uh, come on, Chris, follow me. We have a mini boss. Which is some sort of ram tank that shoots rockets. And uh, it releases. What does it release? It releases barbarians. And when it stops, that's when you want to start wailing on it. It might take a while in the beginning of the game, but. It's gonna start firing, and then it's gonna move again. Yes, but just saying, this game is a lot easier with more than one person. If you're gonna do this with only one person, I suggest you like train up, like go to past places. And get a higher level. Yeah, and get you yourself to a higher level and increase your stats. Cause there are some pretty difficult bosses. Oh, and we take out the ram. Done for. We're gonna move on here. More barbarians. Not much changing in this level. Oh, Christian leveled up. Christian named himself Castle Crashers. And, um, yeah, and you unlock certain ca characters by beating the game, be beating the game with certain people. Like, the lightning guy, you unlock the skeleton. Yes, with the red guys you saw in the, in the choosing screen. Yes, but everyone else, you know. Well, when we get to, uh, we'll speak about it more. And I'm level three. I'm already 
already a level higher than Christian. Dumb dog is barking. As you can see, we're all the way in the basement, so. See that big red door? You know that means it's the boss. Closes. No turning back. Let's move forward. As you can see, there's all the princesses locked up. All tied up. Tied up, locked up. Tied up. Oh, and here's the big old boss. This is the big barbarian. He was really annoying too. He's not that bad. He there's, actually... there's hardest boss. There's hard, there's plenty of harder bosses in the game. Like the ice king. Don't do that, alright? You can't spoil this guy. And that's his new attack. He drinks some sort of potion. He drinks some sort of poison, I guess? And he barfs it out. Instead of barfing out, he barfs out fire. Doing it again. Burns you. Oh god, oh god, get out of the way. No levels, this this battle becomes pretty easy. I was going to say short or, or long. Yeah, with higher levels it becomes easier. Oh, and there he goes. He's down. And uh, who got an achievement? It was you. You got the traitor. Ah, you get it because you're the barbarian and you killed the barbarian boss? You're the traitor. Alright. Right. Well, kill a big boss, you get money. There's a tactic. When you save a princess and there's more than one person, you have to fight your other friend. Or brother, in this case. And I'm hitting it. Oh, and he's trying to throw me down here. Huh? Oh, jeez, Christian's trying to combo me here. Oh, and I cut his head off. Jeez. Now, even though I don't have a mouth, I get to kiss the princess. I don't have one. And this is the evaluation. And also, after a big boss, you get this evaluation, which shows how much money you collected, how many enemies you killed, and how much experience you gained. Alright, so now here on this screen, this shows, uh, as you see, you get points each time to level up whatever you want. Uh, like I said, I'm going for strength. As you can see, I got four, so I'll do two and two. Now, Christian got two because he only leveled up once. But... I guess I'll do strength and. Magic. So, what are you going to do this? What are you going to do this game? Magic. You're going to do strength and magic? Alright, so press continue. And uh, now we can either go this way. To the dock, or, or up to the forest entrance. And, uh, alright, we'll see you guys next time.